aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a really exciting video because I'm talking about more lip products. We all know I have a little obsession with putting lip products on my mouth because where else would you put lip products? I love lip products and more importantly, I love lipsticks. Lipsticks are just my thing. They're just my thing. Every time a new lipstick formula comes out, I just need to try it. I just... I know I have my favorites. I know I do. You guys know I do. I know I do. But I just always feel like there's something better out there. When I feel like I found the best, I feel like I need to find better. That was a rant that has nothing to do with this video. Um, today we are going to be talking about my favorite winter lipstick picks. Now these are going to be just my lipsticks, like the traditional lipsticks that come in a traditional tube and a traditional bullet, not any tinted lip balms, we're not talking about the liquid lipsticks, we're not talking about jumbo lip pencils, we're not talking about lip liners, we are just talking about traditional bullet lipsticks. The reason I have to say that to myself is because mentally I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why didn't I include the Kat Von D Everlasting Love or my Lime Crime Velveteens? And it's because those are liquid lipsticks, I love those, we all know I love those, and I'm thinking of doing a full in-depth review video on liquid lipsticks, like the matte liquid lipsticks that has been all the rage lately. Let me know if you guys are interested in that video, but anyways, back to the point. I picked 10 of my top favorite lipstick picks for the winter. Now, this video isn't going to just be dark colors. It will have dark colors, it will have red colors, it will have neutrals, plums, berries, just everything you guys want in a lipstick pick video. And I'm also going to have equal number of high-end and low-end picks. So I have five different drugstore options for you guys that are really, really affordable and easy to find. And I have five high-end lipsticks, which are also pretty easy to find. None of the 10 lipsticks I'm going to mention are limited edition. They are all pretty readily available. And just for you guys, and to make this video as helpful as possible, I tried everything on for you guys as well. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to be doing a mini review on all of the lipstick formulas, telling you guys which colors my pick, showing you all the colors on my lips, and showing you guys up close swatches on my hands. So let's jump into it. So the first lipstick I'm going to talk about is one of my all-time favorite drugstore lipstick formulas. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know what it is. It is the Milani Color Statement Lipstick Formula. Gorgeous colors, gorgeous formula, and this particular color is called Cabaret Blend, and it is so, so pretty. It's similar to the lipstick in the same line called Black Cherry. This one is just redder. It's a deep wine, burgundy, Bordeaux, cream finish, very pigmented, smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. There's nothing wrong with this lipstick formula. I just love it. The next lipstick, can we just have a moment for this color and this formula? There's no shock that I had to include one of these in this video. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Audrey. The NARS Audacious Lipsticks are the best lipstick formula, hands down the best lipstick formula I have ever used in my entire life. They are smooth, creamy, pigmented, beautiful, just everything you want in a lipstick. And this color in Audrey is such a perfect fall color because it's not super deep or dark, but it's definitely, it's fall appropriate. It's not bright. So it's just, it's so nice. It's a beautiful, like mauvey, pinky, brownie, just everything good in a lipstick is this one. This next shade, which is on my lips, is probably the most inexpensive, best formulation, for, formulated lipsticks 
ever. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick Formula. These are only $1.99 at drugstores, Target, Walmart, etc. And this shade is number 918D Cherry Balm. And this is such a beautiful dark red burgundy color. It looks exactly like MAC Sin lipstick. So if you guys have been wanting Sin, I know MAC Sin is sold out in a lot of places right now. This one is really, really similar. It's got that same matte formula, really long wearing, goes on really nicely. It is a little drying because it is a matte, but just prep your lips with the lip balm and this will go on easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next formula is one that I've actually loved for years and I don't mention it on my channel enough. I've talked about it in the past before. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick Formula and this is one of my favorite high-end lipstick formulas. It is so creamy, pigmented, opaque, and this color in Risk It All is so, so beautiful. Now, I know you wouldn't think of a hot pink necessarily being a fall or winter shade, but this one is really, really pretty because it does have a nice dark red undertone to it. So it's not a bright or neon or vivid hot pink. It's definitely like a darker, almost like a raspberry hot pink. It's really, really really, really pretty. Now this next shade on my lips is from one of my all-time favorite drugstore lipstick formulas that has recently been revamped and I haven't had a chance to talk about it on my channel yet, but I did post a picture on Instagram a long time ago when I purchased these lipsticks. This is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick Formula and I have been a fan of this lipstick formula for years. This was one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas when I was first getting into makeup and to this day it is still one of my favorites. This shade is in number 240 Tower of Mauve and it is a gorgeous cream finish mauvey browny purpley pink color. It's kind of like the NARS Audacious in Audrey that I showed you earlier but this one is more purple and that one is a little bit more red toned so this is just gorgeous. This lipstick formula is so creamy, smooth. It's not heavy. It's one of the lightest lipstick formulas I've ever put on my lips. And because it is so lightweight, it doesn't weigh your lips down. It just kind of feels like you're wearing a very, very, very lightweight lip balm. Okay, the next color on my lips is one I wanted to show you if you are looking for a holiday red lipstick or just a Christmassy or just a perfect, it's the perfect red lipstick. This is the Hourglass Femme Rouge Lipstick in the shade Icon. And this is a beautiful lipstick. It is so creamy, so pigmented, really gorgeous. And the color is just a true iconic red. The name Icon just fits it perfectly. Okay, this next shade is definitely an unconventional shade for the winter time, but Honestly, I love it. I love purples on my lips. It's one of my all-time favorite colors to wear, whether it be a brighter, more unique purple like this, or whether it be a plummy purple. I just love everything purple. And this one is really, really inexpensive. So if you guys are in the market for wanting to try a purple like this, but you don't wanna break the bank. This is the Black Radiance Lipstick in the shade 5117, and I believe the shade is African Violet. This is a gorgeous cream finish, medium bright violety purple. It is so pretty, super unique. These lipsticks are literally $1.99 or like $1.97 or something. They are so, so affordable. So if you want to try something like this, grab a really inexpensive lipstick formula. I do have a full review video on the Black Radiance lipstick line. I have quite a few of the shades from this line and I will put a link to that review video in the description box down below if you wanna see more shades on my lips and they offer a ton more darker, brighter, bolder shades for the winter time. So definitely check out this line, it's amazing. This next shade on my lips is an iconic, 
winter shade, fall winter shade. I feel like everybody talks about this lipstick, but I actually hadn't purchased it until recently. This is MAC Diva lipstick. This is a matte finish. It is a little bit drying on the lips, but it is a gorgeous lipstick color. It is like a brown based reddish brick color. It's like a brick red and it is really pretty. It's really, really, really flattering on all skin tones. I've seen this lipstick on really, really fair skin and I've also seen it on really deep skin. And it's just one of those universally flattering, gorgeous, bold lip shades. This next pick is another drugstore pick and this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Raspberry Bite. And this one is really, really pretty. It is a dark raspberry pinkish red color compared to the Bare Minerals one that I showed you that I said was almost like a raspberry hot pink. This one is definitely more red. It's darker and more red. The Bare Minerals one is more hot pink. So this one is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Formula is one of those classic lipstick formulas. It has been around since the dawn of time, since forever. They always expand the line of lipsticks. They have so many other shades to choose from, but this one is just one of my favorite winter shades because it's not quite red, but it's not quite pink. It's just the perfect in between. And the last lipstick that I wanna mention and the last lipstick formula that I wanna give a big shout out to is the Bite lipstick formula. We all know that I am obsessed with Bite. Bite Beauty is my favorite lip product brand, but those NARS Audacious lipsticks just kind of, they overwhelmed me and they just kind of stole my heart. But Bite has owned my heart for years now. And this lipstick has been one of my go-tos for the past three years, maybe two, three years now. And this is the Bite Beauty lipstick in Mulberry. It is the best berry pinky purple. It's so pretty, it's not too dark, it's not too purple, it's not too pink, it's not too plum. It is just everything that you would want in a perfect, berry lipstick. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's one swipe pigmented. It's just, it's just beautiful. I love this lipstick formula so much and it, it, it hurts me to say that the NARS Audacious is my favorite lipstick formula, which it is, I'm not lying, but overall the Bite Beauty lip line has been my favorite and is still my top for just everything they do. It's just, it's such a great, it's such a great brand. So those were all of my picks for you guys. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it by leaving me a comment down below or thumbsing up this video, thumbsing up, thumbsing up this video because um, yeah, it does take me a lot of time to do those lip swatches and I do them because I know they're helpful and I feel like many of you guys really appreciate them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lipstick pick video. Let me know in the comments comments down below what your guys' winter lipstick must-haves your picks are because I love, I love buying new lipstick. It's an obsession. It's sad. We just, it's fine. We don't, we don't need to be ashamed of it. We, we all love it. You love it. I love it. Let's just talk about it in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye! The most hideous sweater I've seen in my life. So I'm so glad to be wearing it for you guys in this video. This is what the packaging on all of the shades looks like. I think it's really, really pretty and